Hello viewers, do you know that hydraulic excavator production company, the uh, the yellow digger on the construction and mining sites labeled Komatsu, it's always been very evident. Komatsu is undoubtedly one of the world's leading manufacturers of excavators. The multinational company is greatly, greatly respected in the construction industry for producing high quality and absolutely efficient machinery products. Whether you see it in minery, forestry, or even digging sites, Komatsu hydraulic excavators will be always in the spotlight. The company was founded in Japan on 13th of May 1921 by a Japanese citizen, Meitaro Takushi, and named after the city of Komatsu, located in the Ishikawa prefecture, where it was originally established. Now this company has been operating its products in the construction and mining and military industries and is known to have generated billions of yen in the fiscal year. This company has also maintained a healthy profit margin indicating efficient cost management and strong demand for its products today. Komatsu market capitalization is 4.85 trillion and everyone knows how whooping this number is. But this Japanese multinational has definitely got some serious global presence. Moving forward, the production of excavators starts from the foundry plants of Komatsu, where raw materials get prepared. The engineers first selected the most suitable materials for the diggers, be it iron, steel, alloys, or whatever that suits the design requirements. Later, these raw materials are sent for melting in a very large furnace at very high temperatures. Then they pour the molten metal into the molds to form specific parts and components. These molds are created based on detailed designs, specifications to ensure the final machineries and accurate consistency. All this mold is used to prepare the detailed features of each component, such as the truck frames, booms, arms, and other critical parts of excavators. Once the engineers are done with molding, all these components go into detailed cleaning to remove the left out impurities. Not only this, but foundry plant mechanisms also ensure rigorous testing to see if all the components go well with the Komatsu string gate quality standards. The foundry plants are equipped with advanced technologies and machinery to ensure high precision, efficiency and consistency in their casting processes as it directly impacts the further process of hydraulic excavator production. After the foundational process, the components are sent to the welding shop to continue the manufacturing process. Komatsu Welding Shop is run by expert welders who are equipped with certifications and all the necessary skills. The Komatsu Welding Shop is responsible for assembling the track frame, which forms the base of the hydraulic excavator. The process basically welds the frame components together to ensure structural integrity and durability. Additionally, the boom and arm, the other very critical excavator components for digging and lifting, undergo precise welding processes. This process makes sure the hydraulic excavators of the Komatsu withstand heavy loads easily without getting damaged. Komatsu Welding Shop also does body frame welding that's any other important component of the excavator which basically houses the engine and operator cabin. This includes welding together various plates and sections to form the frame. Despite this, the Komatsu welding shop is equipped with two techniques, manual and automated welding. Most of skilled welders implemented are welding gas metal arc welding and gas 
tungsten arc welding to join metal components with precision. However, the repetitive task of these welders they use automated welding techniques that require consistent quality and accuracy. After this, the welder components go into a robust visual inspection to see if they meet the quality standards of Komatsu hydraulic excavators, which includes weld bed appearance, penetration and alignment. They don't just visually go through the components, instead Komatsu welder implements techniques like ultrasonic testing, magnetic particle inspection are used to detect internal defects in welds without affecting the integrity of components. The welding shop includes great quality control since all the welded outputs directly contribute to the assembly of hydraulic excavators so they have been to make to use all the components are robust, well manufactured and capable of handling the rigorous conditions in construction and mining sites. Moving ahead, the Komatsu hydraulic excavators go through a body frame assembly process that involves integrating main parts to build the main structure that houses the engine, operator's cabin and other essential parts of the excavator. The assembly line moves the excavators to different stations where each designated components are installed and carefully inspected. Just like that, the assembly line of the track frame includes the integration of all components that make up the undercarriage of the hydraulic excavator, providing mobility and stability. All the components, such as the track shoes, rollers, idlers, sprockets and track chains, are integrated into the main track frame. If we talk about hydraulic line installation, this process includes the installation of hydraulic lines and hoses and power the truck motors and other hydraulic components. These integrations also go through rigorous functional testing to ensure the proper operation and efficiency. After the body, frame and assembly line integration, the next step of the production of Komatsu's hydraulic excavators is low roller installation on the track frame. To support the track chain and help distribute the machine's weight evenly for seamless functioning of the excavators of the rough pathways. Bolt and fasteners are used to secure the lower rollers in place the ensuring stability and reliability of the excavator. Just like in previous integration, the assembly process includes functional testing, such as rolling mechanism, load testing, etc. All of this integration protocol is just to ensure maximum precision so that all hazards can be prevented while using the hydraulic excavators. Later, after this, the Komatsu multinational company do the cab building procedure. The engineers construct the operator's cabin with this critical component of hydraulic excavators. The cabin provides the operator with comfort, safety and control over the machine's operations. All the components like doors, windows, cabins, interior panels, etc. manufactures with high quality materials. The process of interior installation includes the integration of operation controls, dashboards, and ergonomic seating arrangements. The excavators are also installed with a climate control system and all necessary accessibility features for ease of use and comfort during extended work hours.
Now let's talk about the hydraulic shop at Komatsu that specializes in installing and testing all the hydraulic systems throughout, which are very critical for the operation and the functionality of the hydraulic excavators. The engineers, the hydraulic excavators, assemble the cylinder that controls the excavator's arm, boom and bucket movement. They also install hydraulic pumps that generate hydraulic pressure for power transmission. Don't even think that the hydraulic shop of Komatsu only does the integration job. Instead, it also does proper te uh, testing and functionality tests. They fine tune the hydraulic components to optimize performance and efficiency during the excavator operation. Once all the necessary testing is done, the entire hydraulic system integrates with the main assembly line where they are connected to other components like the engine, control system and hydraulic actuators. Now comes the most exciting part, the engine installation of the Komatsu excavator. This process involves the assembly of the engine components into a complete engine unit using specialized machinery and skilled technicians. This, just like in the previous integration, this part also undergoes performance testing and quality control of engine components if check if they're defective or not meeting the quality standards of the Komatsu hydraulic excavator. <music> Lastly, the manufacturing step includes the shoe installation procedure, which basically compromises attaching track shoes to the track chains of the excavator which are crucial for providing traction and stability on various terrains. The installation process involves the selecting suitable track shoe for the excavator and then mounting it onto the track chains with precision, ensuring a secure and stable attachment. This process is also, also crucial since if the track shoes does not align smoothly, they can also result in huge output flaws. Once it's done, the hydraulic excavators at the Komatsu get installed with an auto-reversing track frame, which allows the digger to reverse seamlessly, enhancing maneuverability and operational flexibility. After this, the engineers of the Komatsu do the counterweight installation, which is one of the more foremost steps in the assembly process to provide balance and stability for the excavators during operation. Later on, boom and arm assembly needs to be done. Both boom and arm are very critical components, which are essential for excavators digging and lifting functions. Once everyone is assembled, the quality control engine inspects the whole hydraulic digger to see its proper functioning. Komatsu, the leading manufacturing company, definitely excels in producing these heavy machine vehicles. That's why they have loads of trillions of dollars today. So with that, let's end the video here. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and let us know what you think we should talk about next.